What is up, my Squirrelites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Mario Kart 8. In the last episode, uh... Hold on. Yeah, I think we'll go with the Blue Falcon. In the last episode, we finished up the Banana Cup, and in this episode, we're heading on into the Leaf Cup. So let's do this thing. And we begin with Wario Stadium, a course that I just... I just don't recognize this course. Like, I just don't... I barely... Ugh. I know I'm not familiar with the DS game at all, but, like, I don't even recognize this frickin' Wii U version, and that was too early. This is a, a good start. Okay, so we are still searching for that elusive Perfect 60 in one of these courses. That would just be awesome. So I'm going to try to use the Blue Falcon to mitigate all of the disadvantages that small characters have, being Toadette and all. And since I am switching between weight classes, I would like to be able to get use this to the fullest... Uh, to its fullest potential. Okay, that was probably the riskiest thing I could have done in that scenario. Let's use a mushroom here. There we go. I actually love the way this blue falcon handles, though, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's be careful. If you go, I think if you cut that corner too close, you can actually end up uh, totally screwing yourself, so just be careful on that. Oh, there's so many jumps. I just want a chance to use these mushrooms. Thank you! Woo! Perfect. All right, I'll take it. All right, Wario, go away with your stupid green shells. I don't, I don't want them. All right, oh, gosh dang it, coin. Coin's bad, too. All right, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Can I get another item? Oh, gosh, I'm hitting walls. That's not good. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keep that lead. Don't you be throwing boomerangs at me, son. I know where you live, and I know where you sleep, and I know which game you do, you have. I will, I will, Wario, why, why do you exist? Why do you exist right now? Like, I'm actually mad at your existence? Your brother's better! They're not brother. D -d 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 Are they even- They're not brothers, that's right. They're not even, like, confirmed brothers. They're just- According to- oh, Who is it? I think it was according to Miyamoto. They're just both friends who generally ha share each other's interests. I mean, I, I suppose that's- If that's how, what you want to call it. They are- if you would, the Burton Ernie of the Mario Kart, uh, Mario in general universe, I suppose. Although I wouldn't say either of them are Ernie because neither of them are as wholesome. They're both Burt. They're both Burt. Let's be real. One's just more Burt than the other. All right. Excuse me, Koopa Troopa. I really need to. How is he so fast? Legit. How is he so fast? Oh my gosh. I hate you right now. No! Oh my gosh! They are so on my tail in this entire freaking course. How in the heck am I supposed to ever get first place? Like seriously, I like I need absolute perfection if I want to do this, and I that's just not a feasible thing to do. Okay, we're we're, we're okay. Oh my gosh, I could actually Oh wait, did I just I just took it from that. Piranha plant! Thank you! Well we managed to get first in our first course, but only marginally. Oh my goodness, next race please. Well that's just a dang old luck of the draw right there now, ain't it? Okay, we're off to Sherbert Land. Now the cool twist with this Sherbert Land obviously is the fact that you actually can go underwater as opposed to in the GameCube version where you just die if you touch the water. So, here we go. Okay, so I apologize if you guys have experienced like a plethora of mid-roll ads already, but honestly I don't have any control because Nintendo demonetizes every single one of these videos because it's Mario Kart and they hate... They hate YouTubers. They just absolutely hate YouTubers with a passion. As far as I'm concerned, mineral ads just should not exist on videos. And if you ever get a mineral ad on one of my videos, it's because it's demonetized or an error on my part. And I apologize. Because mineral ads are Satan and do not deserve to exist on any video that is under 30 minutes long. Just my professional opinion. I don't know. Also, I feel like this... I, mean, I just have a way more comfortable lead this time around than I did on the last race. Why is that? I can't really be that far ahead. They've got to be like right behind me because I'm not even racing well. I'm like missing all of my jumps. I didn't even do a trick off of that last boost. I mean, I know I'm not going underwater, which definitely slows you down a little bit, but I can't be that far ahead. They've got to be like right on my tail, right? I'm sure a blue shell will snap, snap some sense back into me and I'm just going to immediately die and be very sad about it and then I'll get fifth place, and that's just the luck of the draw, right? That's usually how it works. I gotta say, though, I really do love this cart. It's probably my favorite of the small carts, I think. I don't think it's the best, technically, but it just feels great to control. Probably should be waiting until I actually you uh, get a mushroom for something like that, but I don't know. It's much easier just to glide over all of this. 
than make any more convoluted turns or try to snake my way through everything. Also, why do I feel like I'm suddenly, like, moving slower, too? Did this one course drop down to 50cc? No, it's just that the... It's just different. Also, the Shy Guys are so proportionately small in this one to your character compared to what they were in the GameCube version. In the GameCube version, they were giant monstrosities, and it was terrifying. But also, so were your carts in that game, technically. So I guess it, it all kind of adds up. Everything was a giant monstrosity in Mario Kart Double Dash. <gasps> Ooh, shade! I apologize. I know people love that game, but I can't stomach it. Gosh dang it! That's exactly what I didn't want. Crap. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Can I just hold this first place? Okay, it's just a red shot. And it... Did you see that? Did you see that hardcore parkour? How I freaking just bunny hopped over that crap? That was amazing. Okay, I'm very proud of myself. Good job, Toadette. You are... I'm so glad you're so happy right now. I'm happy to. And on to Music Park. And I don't want to... I don't want to speak too soon about this course because I don't want to jinx anything, but... I do remember... I do succinctly remember enjoying this course from the 3DS. I remember it being one of my favorites in Mario Kart 7. But again, I don't want to jinx myself because that's a surefire way of ensuring that I just everything goes wrong in this course. Like getting a coin for the first item when I'm not even in first. And him getting a banana. Because, you know, that's just fair. So don't, so as far as I know, don't try not to go into the spotlights. Otherwise, you will get eaten by one of the PD Piranha guys. And that's just not a fun time for anybody involved. Okay. Excuse me. I love this freaking course. It's so adar- it's, it's just darling. It's just darling how the- the, the, the You- the, 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 the jerk! That was so rude. And also I missed my freaking flight on that. That was not good. Okay, we're fine. Oh, that's right. I need to be doing the tricks whenever they bounce. Do the thing- I missed my timing. Go away! No, Wario. You can't have that. Thank you. Okay. Time that perfectly. Let's keep moving. See if I can avoid this blue shell. Thank you. Kill! DK! Kill the gorilla! Okay, thank you. Alright, we're fine. We're catching up. And he went off! Yes! Koopa Troopa, I love you. Don't use an item on me, please, and thank you. Right, let's just go around these piranha plants, because they're going to be a problem, probably. Alright, just hang in there. Try to go around that, because honestly, it's not worth trying to do the tricks off of those. Okay, we're good. We're good. There we go. Perfect. Avoid those green shells. You son of a gun. You tried to get me with that. Don't you dare miss that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's got that freaking boomerang. I know he's doing it. I know he's doing it. Don't you dare. I keep missing my jump on that. Gosh, my timing is awful. All right. Hang in there. We're still in first. No blue shells, please. I would really appreciate that. I'm just hanging on to this banana. I don't trust it. I don't trust anything else in the world. This banana is my lifeline at the moment. Okay. Why did the... See, okay, that's my... Oh, I guess there are pi pipes on the other side. I didn't really realize that. And they're just headbanging to the music. You know, this isn't really headbanging music. I think those piranha plants need to thrash. I'm about to thrash because I just got blue shelled, and I don't like getting blue shelled. Blue shelled get, makes me upset, and it, it just hurts my feelings. Okay, hang in there. Let's make this jump. Perfect. Okay, we're good. Get an item box. Get an item box. Please, thank you. Okay, we got that. That's not what I wanted, but okay. No red shells. No red shells. Oh my gosh. I probably should be going over that drum now that I think about it. All right, it's fine. You know what? We made it. Whoo! Oh my gosh. Are we... We're so far... We're so far so good. I don't want to jinx anything, but we're going into the final course with a huge advantage, so we're definitely going to win the cup. I just want my perfect 60. And for the fun... Oh, it's Yoshi's Valley. Oh, boy. I actually love this course, but... Uh, I just when something when things go wrong in this course, they're just they just go wrong to a much higher degree than they do on other courses just because of the nature of the course. So for me, the path that I've always taken on this course is this direction. So I don't know if it's still the fastest way to go in um, this game, but it's certainly not feeling that way. Oh no, it is. Okay, I'm still in first. Yeah, that's always the path that I've always taken, so I don't know. I don't know if it's the most tried and true way to go, but in Mario Kart 64, it was always the easiest because it involved the least uh, the least twists and turns, so you didn't have to snake as much, and on top of that, it also avoided uh, most of the obstacles in your way, so pretty, pretty harmless, pretty seamless. Don't go on the grass, you moron. You absolute tool! Sorry, I, I know I'm, I'm my own worst critic. I just got very upset there. 
<sighs> All right, well, we're on to the second lap so far. So good. I really wish, I really do wish, though, that, like, this race still got confused with what place you were in, like the 64 version did, just because I thought that was a very cute gimmick. On top of that, it actually would confuse blue shells, and I kind of loved that as well. I thought it was kind of funny. But, um, anyways, hanging in there, we're almost to a full 10 coins, which is pretty good. Give me one of those. Thank you. All right, keep snaking. Perfect. I mean, I guess this isn't really snaking, but you know what I mean. They also toned down this course so much from the 64 version. It was so freaking treacherous in that game. Like, absolutely just the worst thing ever. But in, a, in also a good way. I don't know. I loved that course in the 64 version. Like, I loved it, it with all of its absolute treacherousness and just asshole course design. Like, I, those are some of the things I enjoyed about it. But I don't know. That's just me. So this is the third lap, also known as Blue Shell Lap. So... If I can get this perfect 60, I will be very happy. I don't know if I'm gonna. I just maintained first through that entire run, so I think I've actually got a pretty good lead. But no blue shells, please. Just none. I don't want them. Don't send them my way. I want to say that I accidentally... I, I might have actually heard one coming my way, or at least the, the remnants of one. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's so close to the finish line. Oh my gosh, who'd have thought that Toadette with the blue falcon would be the one? Oh my gosh, we did it. Yes! Finally, a perfect cup. Oh, it's about time. And Wario got second. All right, well, whatever. Also, in fact, he was freaking really close, actually, now that I see it. Jeez. That's... I mean, I felt like I was in a comfortable lead the whole time. So... Oh, there's a cannon in that course? I didn't even know that. <laughs> shows shows you that I, I, I definitely stick to one route the entire time. In Yoshi's Valley. But we did it! Finally! A perfect 60. I can't believe it took me seven cups, honestly. That's kind of embarrassing, but I'm not the best at Mario Kart 8. What can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Mario Kart 8. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.